Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vishal. In this video, let's have a look on the bridge in the edge actions of Z Modeler. So, a Z Modeler can be accessed from the brush palette, or I can press B, Z, and M. And I've deleted few of the faces so that I can generally execute the bridge tool here. So let me just uh, hover the cursor on the edge and hit spacebar to pick the bridge. Uh, so there are two targets here. One is the edge and another one is two holes. And then uh, the first one is like it will uh, create a bridge between two selected edges. So first I need to select this one and then select this one and you should be able to see a bridge has been created, a poly bridge. So it's very simple to use and uh, um, very straightforward. Now let me just select uh, the two holes and then I would like to just put everything to the default. And there are a uh, few modifiers here and the way the result is going to come. That's also there here. So let me just uh, try to explore these all shapes what this bridge is going to give. So uh, we have from spline to one line or straight lines. So this is uh, the interpolation which uh, is going to happen between two points. So what I'm going to do now is first uh, delete uh, two faces here on the top and I'm going to select uh, the spline which is going to the interpolation type so I select one of the edge you could see um, I, I'm getting a, a quick help here click first hole okay then I'm going to click the second hole and I need to click and drag it okay so when I'm dragging on the left I could able to see the height of this bridge on the curvature of the bridge which is happening between these two points the height is controlled by left dragging. I mean, the, the cursor is moved from left to right while I'm dragging it. But if I move up and down, then you should be able to see the resolution is also, you know, increased. And then I can keep dragging on the left side like that. And I should be able to see there's a round uh, curvature. I mean, this curvature is purely based on the two uh, points, uh, two faces which you have selected here. If the, the, the alignment of these two faces are different, you may get completely different result altogether. Maybe I can just select these faces and then move it like that. Okay. And then I, I use the Z modeler, select one edge and select the other edge. And then you should be able to see the curvature is quite different in this case. So I have different types of, uh, you know, shapes like this one is a circle. Okay, so it, it gives a perfect circle shape here. Earlier was like a mountain or a spline interpolation. Okay, so we have, uh, if I keep moving further down, it becomes more box shaped. So I'll just come here to the small round corners. Okay, and then select this one and this one, left drag and up drag and you should be able to see. Earlier it was like uh, round, now it is becoming more box and the roundness what you are seeing here is going to be changed as I as I keep moving down with this. So let me choose the tight round corners, left drag and vertical up and this is more short radius here. I should be able to see it is pretty much sharp. So these are all the shapes what we have uh, in the bridge types especially the interpolation. So we got uh, interactive curvature. Okay. Now you are, you're able to see when I'm just selecting these two edges, I'm moving up for the resolution, moving left for the curvature. Now this curvature is interactively controlled by me. Now if I just choose the optimal curvature, it is automatically decided based on the polygon faces. Okay. Click here, click here and then only move up. And you are able to control the resolution, but you are not able to control the curvature there. Now you have half curvature when I click that. Okay. The curvature what we had earlier to that, it's only half now. Okay. We have interactive resolution, which is again adding the number of points. We have optimal resolution where I'm going to select these two. And then I'm going to drag left and right. When I'm moving up and down, the curvature isn't controlled uh, by, by the cursor or interactive curve curvature is not happening here okay uh, sorry it's interactive curvature but resolution is optimal so we have minimum resolution just click that click that and then you should be able to see the number of lines what we have is the minimum i don't have more points beyond this one no matter 
uh, you know you can just keep trying on different uh, curvature types but still you're getting that minimum resolution here so you got polygroup related control you got uh, polygroup columns rows and flat so when i'm just uh, clicking these two points and then you should be able to see this is the pink color and this is the purple color the the polygroups are going uh, through the length of the tube but if i just choose uh, in the rows and and you should be able to see the polygroup is in, uh, in the, through the cross section of the tubes here because the type was changed from polygroup columns to the polygroup rows so if you have polygroup flat and i'm just clicking and dragging you should be able to see there is only one polygroup you don't have two uh, so we have a pivot on whole center uh, this is not much of uh, effective a very subtle result can be changed so the curvature of the tube is basically controlled on the pivot point of you know the holes center okay so let me just try to delete these two faces and then go with the optimal curvature and uh, optimal resolution and then choose the pivot on hole center so i'm going to click this two edges here you get this curvature okay let me just try uh, the spline and what I'm going to do is instead of pivot on whole center, I'm going to try pivot on click edge. Now here I'm going to select the outer edges and here I'm going to select the inner edges. So if I just uh, have a look on the result, what I've got between these two is a very subtle and there's a, a clear difference between these two results. And uh, that is because the way I've selected the edges here. So we have a, uh, auto align edges now what is that actually means so when i'm just selecting these two edges here and i'm getting the, res the the curve let me just put this interactive and then i'm dragging it and then you should be able to see i got this nice result okay now let me just change this to align clicked edges so i'm going to select this edge okay and then i'm going to select this edge and then just drag it and you should be able to see there's a twist in the model because the the rotation of this face uh, is affected here whereas uh, if i select the outer edge and the outer edge okay and then you get the correct result here so the edge selection like when i'm selecting this side edge and the opposite side edge you should be able to see there's a twist uh, in the result where on the same side if i click and then you get a decent uh, result there so it's how you are going to select the edges is what this is uh, generally working sometimes uh, you also uh, have to you know select two different shaped models so i'm going to select uh, this one just click here and then click here and then you should be able to see the result is achieved between that two differently shaped holes there so bridge can be a life savior at some times when uh, you're connecting two different holes uh, especially in hard surface modeling so you can try exploring and you have any better ideas to where it can be used let me know in the comment section i would request you to hit the like button and subscribe my channel and thank you very much